In a medical emergency, many people are not dialing 911. Instead, they're picking up their phones and ordering an Uber. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield spoke with one woman who did it not once, but twice. Rhiannon, if you've ever needed to use an ambulance, you know it could be expensive, which is why people are opting out of the cost, taking an Uber to the ER instead. It's terrifying. Brandy Granados could not breathe. When you're doing everything you can and all you're doing is just coughing and coughing and coughing. So in a panic, the Kansas City mom grabbed her phone, pulled up Uber and plugged in the closest hospital. Six bucks. They got me there within 10 minutes. And she's not alone. This represents an enormous savings. Professor David Slesky has been studying the effect of Uber here in the metro and all across the country, finding that when Uber enters a city, ambulance volume drops. One reason people don't want to be stuck with a big bill. For something that you know, isn't an immediate emergency, but you really need to be seen in an emergency room in the next several hours, this represents an enormous savings with not necessarily any health co consequences. But health experts warn extra minutes could mean life or death. One big difference between an ambulance and an Uber, response time. <coughs> While ambulances can run stop signs and red lights, Uber and other ride sharing services can't. Which is why in a statement, Uber tells 41 Action News, for a medical emergency, the company, quote, always encourages people to call 911. As for Granados, I found out I had pneumonia, so it could have saved my life. She's now used Uber twice to go to the ER. Even if I had a car and like I couldn't breathe, I wouldn't have been able to drive. Reporting in Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.